Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Hope you are having an awesome week. You had a great day of rest yesterday, and I hope that Easter was awesome. I'm he- I'm hearing wonderful feedback. Um, I heard Lexington was awesome. I heard Mason had a dance party. Um, I hope that Easter went really well for you. I thought it was a phenomenal service, and Something like 19,000 people were in buildings, which I think Ty said was 150 or 140 percent more than the previous week, which is just incredible. Hopefully, people will continue to come back. And because of that, we have an awesome service planned for this coming weekend for our final week of Unbreakable. And hopefully, we'll have lots of new friends with us in service. So I'm going to go through the plan. We feel pretty good about this plan. Allie is teaching. She is going to be talking about three different journeys that people might be on. And she's going to be highlighting um, each journey, asking questions about it, maybe giving personal stories about it and helping people recognize what journey might I be on with God and how can I move forward and become closer to him through it. So she's going to be talking about the journey of trust, which uh, shifts your mindset from my plans and my ways to God's plan and God's ways. Um, The second journey is the journey of obedience. And she is going to be talking about how there are some people in here who might not be feeling super fulfilled And that could be because they're not obeying God or that they want to obey God, but they're currently resisting in some way and what they can do to move forward with that. And the third journey is the journey of relationship. And essentially, she's going to be talking to the people who are open to trusting and obeying God, but they're having a hard time actually making him the center of their life. So those are the three journeys she's going to talk about. Very straightforward. She really wants people to have a moment in her message of saying like, oh yeah, this is the journey that I'm on. And then she's going to give nice, tangible um, next steps for those people. So I think it's going to be awesome. I think um, especially to friends who are coming back for the first time after Easter, maybe they don't know much about Jesus and God at all, and they just enjoyed Easter and they want to come back, this is a really, really, really clear understanding of what journey might I be on right now and what can I do to better that relationship with God. So really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be awesome. And we've got some great creative elements around it as well. I will go through that. So in the countdown, we're going to be playing the Freed Up trailer at least twice. It's a great visual trailer. It's We're just having a hard time finding where that would fit best in the service flow. So we're going to put that in the countdown, but play it at least twice. It's, it's nice, informative, gets people thinking about the next thing, and um, isn't in the actual 65-minute service. So that will be in countdown. At zero, we're going to have another on-ramp, worship on-ramp video. If you guys remember a couple weeks ago, we had one with the glass that was shattered, it came back, or the horse that was like running away and came back. We have a second one, so it will look a little different, and it will be um, buildings, I believe. I'm looking outside and I'm seeing a building, but then I saw a tree, and I'm thinking, wait, is it trees? No. Buildings, like, that are totally demolished and destroyed, and um, they're going to be, like, put back together in the rewind. So that will be the worship on-ramp. The voiceover will be from Ableton, and then we will be into Unbreakable, the song, as a hard point. So that's the only hard point this week as far as worship goes. It will be a participation song as opposed to Easter. It was just a um, a receiving moment or performance song. It will be participation. So in any, I think Justin's coaching those worship leaders today at 3.30 maybe to kind of have some language of standing up and singing and why we sing and all that. So then CPZO worship leaders will do a quick welcome, especially inviting back people from Easter, and then we will be into the worship block. So like I said, Unbreakable is the only 
hard point this weekend. It looks like Oakley's doing We Praise You, The Father's House, Waymaker. And then CPs or worship leaders will pray, wave, sit. And then we will be into our unbreakable moment for this week. And I will tell you what Oakley is going to do. I think a lot of sites would benefit from doing it. I'd recommend um, sites doing this as a nice crowd engaging exercise. And if you have something better, great. But there will be a video of some funny clips that would absolutely make you laugh. And the point of the moment is to actually put it back on the crowd and to say, um, we're actually going to test out and see if you guys are unbreakable and have everyone stand up, play the videos, and you can't laugh. So the audience can't laugh. And if someone does laugh, they have to sit down. And so then last one standing is the winner, the most unbreakable as far as laughing goes. Um, It's actually a TikTok trend right now, too, which I'm not sure if the team knows that, but it is a TikTok trend. So in order to be culturally current, that would be kind of funny. Um, But TikTok, it's it's actually sounds. It's only sounds, no laughing. And so people go back and forth and they make like weird sounds, like people like barking or like "Ah!" or something. And then you're supposed to not have the other person laugh. Anyways, so the point is the audience wouldn't laugh or and CP is like really interacting and having fun with it, like pointing out like, I saw you laugh, you sit down or maybe CP is laughing. They're like, come on, you didn't think that was funny. Anything to engage people and um, have that be a fun moment. Go for it. So that moment will happen. And then CPs will do a um, throw to giving and we will be into um, an unbreakable story. We were going to use this at Easter and we decided not to. This is a story of, um, Mike, who's a wrestling coach. And, um, I love the story. It actually is a very similar story to my life. Um, as far as having great success in a sport and then a couple surgeries later, you can't do the sport anymore. And then the mindset has shifted to coaching and, trying to teach people that, and especially kids, that your worth is not found in a sport. You can be really good at something and it, your worth is not found in a sport. So I love the story. I think it's awesome. And he talks about his life and how he's had moments of like, God, why would you do this to me? Why do you hate me? And it's it's an awesome story. So that will come, that will be during giving right before Allie. Allie will come out of that message or out of that story to do her message And she's really excited about that, tying that into what she's going to talk about. So then she will do her message and we will um, be into a hard point performance piece, which is Red Sea Parted. And there's going to be um, uh, footage. I'm not sure if it's going to be on the LED or side screens yet. We're still working that out. But there's going to be some type of song support for that at the end of this or at the end of her message into the song. So stay tuned for that. And then CPs will be up to dismiss and we will be out. So that is this weekend. And friends, this was my last recap video. So if you've got any funny jokes that you want to send my way, please do so. And I would love to hear from you guys. Were these videos helpful? Are they not super helpful, but you watch it anyways, or you would be fine without? We're just trying to figure out the best next steps for um, backfilling what I'm doing. And if these videos are super helpful, great. And if not, great. So let me know, maybe comment or shoot me a message or an email or something just so that we can make sure that you guys are still set up for success as I become a student again. So... Um, if you guys have any questions about this week, please let me know, but would be happy to help and looking forward to ending the series really strong and hearing how it goes for you guys. So hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see some of you tomorrow.